Good morning everybody and welcome to session two of our summer Sunday school and this week our session is entitled Run the Race. So without further ado we are going to start with our prayer. So dear God thank you that you are a God we can know and you are here with me now and everywhere I go. Amen. Amen. I wonder then how you managed to get on with Ed's challenge from last week with your running your circuits. Did anyone manage? I just come back from a run at the gym on the treadmill. But what about you? How did you do in your running um, last week? You have to let us know. So as you know, the Olympics are taking place in Tokyo at the moment. And so we are using them to help us in Sunday school over this summer to look and teach us a little bit more about our faith. So last week we looked at how there were many games in the Olympics but all together they make up the tournament and how one game isn't more important than any other of the games and how that's like the body of Christ. There's lots of us in the church but some, and we do lots of different jobs, but one person is not more important than another. Okay, so before we have a look at what run the race means for us today, I'm going to hand over to Ellen for our game. Thank you, Ellen. Hello everyone and welcome to Ellen's Game of the Week. Uh, so this week's game is called Spot the Objects and all you're going to have to do in a minute is you're going to see a lovely picture of a beach because as we all know it's the summer holidays and I'm sure some of you might be going to the beach, might have already been to a beach. So you're going to see a picture of a beach and it, within that picture I'm going to hide five objects. So the objects I'm going to hide within the picture are a beach ball, a bottle of sun cream, a sun hat, an ice cream and some sunglasses and all you've got to do in a minute is find those five items within the picture. Now some of them might be easy to find, some of them might be a little bit more hidden than others but I'm sure you'll be able to find lots of them if not all of them. So are you ready? So you have one minute to find the objects starting in three, two, one, go. Okay, so I'm, I hope some of you found those and I, maybe some of you found all of them. Maybe some of you only found one or two, but you know, that's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna, the answers are going to pop up now. So if you keep looking in a minute, you're going to see the objects that were hidden. A little ring is going to appear around them and you've got to see if you found that one or not. So you ready for the answers in three, two, one. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this week's game. Uh, stay tuned for more games in the next few weeks. But uh, bye for now. Bye. Thank you so much, Ellen. Did you manage to find them all? What a great game. Getting you looking really closely at our screen of that beach as well. Mm, summer holiday is enjoying them, aren't we? So like I said, this week we are looking at the titled Run the Race. So what does that mean? Let's have a look at this video to start us to think. Okay then, so Olympic athletes train hard, often for as many as eight years. 
they get up early, they train at least once a day, they eat healthily, they go to bed early and they often miss out on meeting up with their friends because it doesn't fit in with their training schedule or their early nights, early nights and early get ups. So what do you think then would be worth training so hard for? What would make it worth it? Would it be a medal? You've seen those silver, gold, bronze medals we've been winning in the Olympics. Would all of that be worth a medal? What about a trophy? Would all of that be worth a trophy? The moment there's the F1 going on and they get trophies from the car racing, would it be all worth it for a trophy? Okay, what about some money then? This is a checkbook. What about £10, £100, £1,000? Would that make it worth it? Giving up seeing your friends, all those early nights, eating healthy food, no fast food, no McDonald's. Would money make it worth it? What about fame? Having your name on the news, would that make all of that training, those early get-ups worth it? All of that training? Hmm. What about making your family proud? What about them thinking, oh yeah, and being there cheering for you? Well, as Christians, we also should work hard and keep up our training to help God build his kingdom, to make more Christians and make the world a better place. And Paul said that the Christian life, us living our lives, is like a race. We train, we run and we look for a prize. So we train, we read our Bible, we pray, we run by telling other, Christ other people about Christianity and evangelising. And our prize is eternal life with God in heaven. And by Jesus saying, well done, it's called God's commendation. So God and Jesus saying, well done, you've worked really hard. You've been a great Christian. So what things do we give up then? Well, maybe it's things like, not going to a football match on a Sunday, but going to church instead. Maybe set, not saying some of the things that our friends think are cool and not swearing or using God's name in vain or saying unkind things. There are sacrifices that we might give up to make us better Christians. And this is what Paul said in Hebrews 12, 3 to 4. Let us run the race that we have to run with patience. Our eyes fixed on, fixed on Jesus the source and goal of our faith. Wow. Now, I want you in your craft activity today then to make me a medal or a trophy, okay? So you're going to make out of card or whatever you have that you'd like to make it out of, a medal or a trophy. But instead of putting first prize for the 100 metre sprint or something, you're going to put for winning God's race. And you might want to put that Hebrews 12 three to four or for running God's race okay have a lovely week and we will see you next week where we're looking a little bit more about the Olympics to help us with our um, Sunday school thoughts at the moment over to Ed then for your challenge from this week thanks Ed bye hello everybody great to be back with you again hope you're enjoying your holiday from school your challenge this week, I've taken my inspiration from the opening ceremony of the Olympics. And some of you might have seen that for the different symbols and the different signs that they use to uh, represent each sport, that a guy uh, who was acting out each of those different symbols um, and uh, with maybe a prop or two to help him. That's what I want you to do this week. I want you to do a freeze frame. I want you to do um, an action uh, that uh, shows that sport or maybe an activity or something else that you enjoy doing. It doesn't have to be a sport. You can use props if you like. You might even want to use other people. If you've got a friend or a family member uh, that you can drag in to help you. Be as creative as you, as you want. Do as many different things as you want. But that's your challenge for this week. Hope you enjoyed doing it. Enjoy the rest of this week. Have a great time and uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye bye.